Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Believer's Voice of Victory. Pastor George is back with us again, and he's loaded about your money and That's having right. plenty of That's it. That's right. Oh, and no man anything but to love him. That's right. Hallelujah. Gloria, Welcome, it's so George. good. It's so good to be with you I'm again. I'm enjoying on this. already seeing you. And I was looking forward to this so much. You know, this is first of all, I'll give you I'll give you some statistics. Okay. This is our 251st broadcast of teaching on prosperity. Wow. And of course, you know, all of the all of the outlines are available online. You can get them right now, kcm.org. All of the outlines for this series that we're doing, as well as every series that we have completed since 2010, that's how long it's been, those are all available. And over all these years, all these years. the downloads, people have really enjoyed the notes. We are now at the 925,000 mark of how many outlines <laughs> have been downloaded. We, Isn't that awesome? we, we will hit a million downloads here soon. Yeah, we will. So with this, maybe with this teaching here, we'll hit I, I believe we will because this, awesome? this topic that we are, what we're going to be talking about, Gloria, um, you and I talked about this uh, four years ago and I was looking back over the, the schedule of what we've taught and the things that we brought out and, and the Lord ministered to me and he said, we need to do a refresher course on debt freedom. Yeah. And the title of this series that we're doing, actually you were the one that brought out this title about four years ago. You said, George, you ought to write a book called Done With Debt. Well, I've, I've compiled some things. I haven't Good. gotten the you assignment, do but I've, I've got to do it. So we're calling this series Done With Debt. And I'll tell you, before we went on the air, it was, it was really funny in here. Um, because you, you made a quote, I'll give you the quote that you said, when you're done with debt, you don't have anybody dunning you. So I, I questioned you for just, I mean, just for a brief How moment, I questioned you. you. That's just, but it wasn't for just a second. Okay, well, okay. Because I wasn't familiar with the word done, D-U-N. We know from that that you've always paid your bills. I, you <laughs> that's right. With it. When you are done with debt, you don't have anybody dunning you. So we had somebody here in the studio look up the word done uh -huh. because we, we weren't quite sure. Um, we knew you knew that it was a word, it's but I wasn't. It's spelled D-U-N-N? It's, it's called D, it's spelled D-U-N. And listen D -U -N. to this. Done. To make repeated and insistence, assist, to make repeated and insistent demands upon someone, especially for the payment of a debt. So someone Isn't and the person, good, huh? the person, it's also a noun that means a, a, a creditor <laughs> or what you said was a predator. <laughs> <laughs> so, but a done is actually someone who makes a demand on somebody. And we're talking about being done, done with the... debt, done with the duns. Uh -huh. of the world, right. done with those who are calling people. And I know right now, there are folks that are watching us, Gloria, they have, they have creditors calling them. They have those, yeah. the, the phone will ring and they will dread it they'll because- They'll cover it up with a pillow. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll do that too, or ignore it. Yeah. But it's somebody on the other line that is demanding payment for something. And what I'm telling you, what we're telling you today is, and really based on what Gloria and Kenneth have taught me through all of these years, they made a quality decision in 1967. And of the qualities decisions that you made, which included things like, you'll never ask for a place to preach. Yeah. You'll not preach based, based on a financial arrangement. Uh, another one that you agreed upon was our kids are not going to hell. That was That's a good right. one. And they're all in play. They're good all place. in place. They're in good places. Yeah. And the one though that we're talking about here was a decision you made, the quality decision in 1967, that we would never owe anybody anything. We would not go into debt. Now we were more pers thinking about personally. <clears throat> sure. Because we didn't days. have the ministry yeah. going at that yeah. time. And we also didn't have anything going at that time. <laughs> we <laughs> you didn't have anything going. We didn't have a good house, and good clothes, <laughs> sure. driving a second hand car. Yep. Yeah. I saw uh, I, big step. Some years ago, I think it was the thirtieth anniversary of the ministry. Now next year, twenty seventeen is the fiftieth. Wow. You come a long way. How could that be? I'm I already mean, 50 years old. 50 years, but think about that, Gloria. Think about 50 years in ministry and never owing anybody. Now, this Praise should be an encouragement God. to every pastor that is out there 
to every individual that is out there watching that you can live debt free. And we've never lacked. Never. We've come a little close at times to, close. to some a things. Pressure once but tomorrow. I'm telling you, every single time, TV bills are paid, accounts payable, paid up, and the ministry has increased over the years. And now, listen to this. Uh, when, when I first came to work, I came to work 40 years ago. I just celebrated my 40th anniversary. George, you're hardly 40 years old. And uh, I was very young when I got here. But uh, 40 years ago, the first day I came to the office, Kenneth had me come for a summer job. Of course, I met Terry at ORU, and I came here for a summer job. And when he found out that I did artwork, he wanted to start an in-house art department. Well, even before I did that, I walked into the office that day, and the whole... All 12 of us on staff, they were all, all in the... All 12. All 12. How many do we have now? There are over 400 <laughs> that we have on staff. See, you did what, 400? It takes 400 it takes, people now. <laughs> so when I came in, they were all... We were in the Lake Arlington office, and in the open office area, they were inserting uh, cassettes and, and a... Uh, flyer into an envelope that we were sending out. Brother Copeland had just heard from the Lord. He said to take this uncompromised word of faith and put it on every available word. Yes, voice. yes, yes. And here we are almost 50 years later. Now, Believer's Voice of Victory Network, we're on the internet, we're on Roku, we're on Apple TV, and we are on Dish TV 24-7. Wow. The Word of God is going forth, and we don't owe anybody for it, plus the fact, here's the, here's an amazing thing about all of that. I, I was thinking about this the other day. Only, only Kenneth Copeland, only Gloria Copeland would start a television network and put other ministers on it and not charge them. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's... That would be... That would be only Kenneth Copeland. <laughs> <laughs> well, he did it. He heard from the Lord on that. But you see, you can live a debt-free life. There's a way for every one of us to do that. Right. We'll be talking about on these broadcasts, we'll talk about how you and Kenneth um, made that decision and how you stayed debt-free. We'll talk about Good. how Terry and I, it's important. We, we sold a house, but then we borrowed the money to get into the next house and how the Lord got us out of that and we have been debt-free all of these Praise years. God. So it is really big in our hearts. I know it's in yours and mine as well that the people that are watching us, if you're, if you're in a position right now where you are in debt head over heels, I'm telling see, you what. we were there at one time personally. Personally, you were there. I know what that's like. You don't want to go there. <laughs> it's, it's difficult. Did you, have, did you have the predators? Well, we didn't have that much stuff. We just had a, <laughs> a car payment and a rent payment. Yep. But, yep. So they didn't bother to come after us yet, but... It but it was, was getting close behind. until yeah. you made that quality yeah, that's decision. That's where we decided. That's yeah. where we saw in the word to stay out of debt. The thing that I just so love about Kenneth and Gloria and the things that they have taught us is you've taught us how to step over into a realm Praise of God. prosperity, a realm of living where we are way, way, way above the curse of the law. We, yeah. are, we are redeemed from the curse. Now, when we saw that in the word that, stay out of debt, keep out of debt. Right. We were living in Tulsa and we were in a little project house down by the river. They condemned it later mm. on down in that area, I think. <laughs> oh, man, and, oh, man. Uh, we didn't, we had just good, early Goodwill furniture, you know, just odds and ends. We had a, uh, uh, I think we had a rented rollaway bed in one of our places. I mm -hmm. think that was a little rock mm -hmm. though. Anyway, in mm -hmm. other words, we, we didn't make that decision from abundance. Right. right. We made it just because we saw it in the words, yeah. stay out of debt. That's so right. we said, we're not going to oh, no, borrow man, anything any more money. But to love him. Yeah. And Ken was in debt when I married him. He didn't bother to tell you that. Oh, I didn't know it was important. You know, I wouldn't <laughs> have known the difference. But uh, it has meant instead of we'll never have anything, the Lord taught us how to live debt free and it made all things possible. That's right. That's right. Well, you thought I, from your. I've been a student Faith of yours all of these big years. Our little things. And I've, I read what you re wrote in your book on God's will is prosperity. I read what Brother Copeland re wrote in his book from Laws of Prosperity. Yeah. And the very fact that uh, you made that decision when you, were, when you were in debt and came out of yeah. debt and never went back into debt. And I was thinking about this the other day, how all of these years, you, you didn't have this ministry at this time. 
No, no, we, we didn't, didn't have, have the, anything. anything. <laughs> And you can you we had can, an old Oldsmobile, second-hand Oldsmobile, and a little house, rent house, and <clears throat> early Goodwill furniture. <laughs> it was, you were in desperate straits. We were, but we didn't know how desperate until later. But you were listening. You were listening to Brother Hagen at that yeah. time, and we were learning about faith. That's learning what about faith, started. learning how to use your words and believe God, and learning things about making the quality decision. What, whatever you saw in the Word of God, this is what you, I know you learned from That's Brother Hagin. Right. Whatever you saw in the Word of God, you quickly adapted that into you your took lifestyle. You took, right. you took it. Whether we wanted to or not. And so Terry and I did this, have done the same thing. In all of these years that I've known you, we have taken what you have taught, we've applied it. I was talking to somebody yesterday, Gloria, um, who heard... Kenneth, for the first time in 1972, it was at a full gospel businessmen's meeting and he mm -hmm. preached about living below your rights in Christ and how to get up above that. Well, one of the rights that we have in Christ is to live debt free. That's right. You can have a car. You can have two and cars. To live in you can you can live in abundance and there is, I like to, to use this phrase, there's life after debt. That's right. <laughs> and, and Terry and I, the day that I paid off the last of our debt, I'll tell you, Gloria, something came lifted off of me. There was, some, there was a new freedom on the inside. And even to this day, last Saturday, you know, I take for the last 23 years in pastoring the church, my Saturdays have been totally committed to the Lord. I love my Saturdays <laughs> because it's just He and I together. Mm -hmm. And I walk through our house and I walk through the rooms of the house and I look around and I say, Lord, this is a debt-free house. We owe no man anything for this house. If we wanted to sow this house, we could do it. We wouldn't have to pay it off. And I'll tell you, it makes a big difference when, when you don't have to pay those huge mortgage wow. payments yeah. every month for the car, for the boat, for the house. And the Lord is going to show you how it to be, be done. done with it, debt. Many, many people have done it now, you know. That's right. But uh, That's back right. in those days, it was not really talked about much mm -mm. or preached. But, but we saw it in the Word. You saw oh, it in no the man, Word. no man anything but to love him. That's what it says. So how can you get around that? No, you, you, it's, <laughs> it's there. It's there. And it is part of the curse of the law. And let's read this first okay. part, Gloria. This is a word from the Lord that Brother Copeland gave. In, on July the 9th of 2007, we were at the West Coast Believers Convention in Anaheim, California. Now listen to this. The manifestation of the blessing is at an all-time high. You are approaching a blessing manifestation of glory that is an explosion in ways and intensity that the human race has never seen before. The blessing or the blessing is the empowerment to prosper, or the blessing that was the first words that God ever spoke to man. Be fruitful, multiply, replenish the earth, subdue it, and have dominion over it. He spoke that. Always abundance. Always, you know. always. The blessing or the empowerment to prosper will encase you, and you will learn to walk in the secret place of the Most High. You'll be blessed in His blessing, blessed in His glory, blessed in His comings, blessed in your goings, blessed in your pocketbooks. And I like this in number three here. All debt will have to get up and leave you the way leprosy of the lepers yes, of old. Yes, amen. Debt is financial sickness. It is a financial leprosy. It is attempt to do with the natural world's mm -hmm. monies That's and abilities right. what I created the blessing to do for you only. It is a burden and not a blessing. Right. Debt is part of the curse. It is. That's plain. It's in Deuteronomy 28. It's plain. See that. It's plain. You go ahead and read some of those, Gloria. If you will begin to confess the Word, you'll be shocked and thrilled at how quickly, how quickly. you will have the glory arise and drive the debt out of your life. Mm -hmm. I think it mm -hmm. took, <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken, it took nine months to get out of debt mm -hmm. when we quit borrowing money. Wow. Wow. It, but now we weren't thousands and thousands in debt, but right. it might as well have been because sure. we didn't have any sure. money, you know. Sure. So it's probably, I don't know, thousands, but not 50,000 or 100. Right. But it would work the same way if you were in that category. Well, as I remember reading in Brother Copeland's book, it was, he can correct me on this, but I think it was 25,000. But 25,000. That sounds 000, about right. 25,000 in 19. We had a car. We had a car. <laughs> in 67? That yeah, might as well have been. True. Uh, you we know, had I a car and we didn't have, and we actually, we had a car. You had a car. 
<laughs> and lived in a rent uh, house. Yeah. If you will bring uh, your tithe to me and there spend time with mm -hmm. me tithing that tithe to me, I will teach you and I will train you and I will show you how to be debt free. Praise and that's God. what he did with us. Yep. I will bless you beyond your means. When we started tithing, it, it didn't look like us and God could get along on it. But you know what? But, we begin to increase. Yes. Yes. I will bless you beyond your income. I will bless you beyond your salaries. I will bless you beyond anything you have ever known before. I will, bless, I will show you the things that you've never heard of before. You will take advantage of those things mm -hmm. and be financially blessed. And that's what happened with us. Yep. I will bring such a financial blessing upon you that you won't have any idea where it came from. Isn't that awesome? Supernatural. It has supernatural. come to an explosive yeah. place. I am ready, says the Lord. If you'll begin to confess it, walk in it, and make it the priority, uh, a priority in your life, then the glory will uh, manifest in your midst, and you will give me praise, and I will come and visit you, and together we will have a good time. So that now, is, if we had that had had that yeah, information, yeah. it would have been a lot easier. Yeah. Well, it's available we, now. <laughs> but and, we had to learn that. And, and for those of you that are in debt, you yeah. stay with us. I mean, stay yeah. with us on That's these right. 10 days that we're teaching. Oh, it's worth the effort. And it will turn around your life. Look at the second page, Gloria. We just only have a few minutes left on this broadcast for this. But I want to establish something on page two there. Okay. In Galatians 3.13, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us, for as it is written, Cursed is everyone that hangs on a tree that the blessing of Abraham might come on the yes. Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that, that, that we might receive God. the promise of the Spirit through faith. So we've been redeemed from the curse. That's right. The word redeemed means to buy up or ransom or rescue or to liberate. We've been liberated from the curse That's of right. the law. Right. And we see here in Proverbs 10, the blessing of the Lord, it makes rich mm -hmm. and he adds no sorrow with it. We've not so, just been redeemed from the curse, but we've been given the blessing. We've been given It'd the be blessing. It'd be one thing to just be at zero, redeemed from the curse. Yep. But now we've yep. been given the blessing to increase. To increase Doesn't us. Doesn't that tickle you? I and like De it. I love that. And Deuteronomy 28, and we'll finish up with this. Deuteronomy 28 is the blessing of Abraham. Verses 1 through 14 is the blessing. Mm -hmm. Verses 15 through 68, that's the curse of the law. And I'll just throw this in here. Brother Copeland's been preaching about this, the threefold work of the curse is, it's not on your notes, but I just wrote it in. Spiritual death is the first part of the curse. Sickness and disease is the second. And poverty, lack, and yeah. debt yeah. is the third work of the curse. We've been redeemed from that curse. And in verses 30, 43 through 44 in the curse, it says, the stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high and you shall come down very low. He shall lend to you and you shall not lend to him. He'll be the head and you shall be the tail. But I'll tell you right now, the blessing that is available Praise to us, God. it says, and I'll read this to you in verses 12 and 13 of Deuteronomy 28. The Lord shall open unto you his good treasure, or the New Living says rich treasury, the heaven to give the rain unto thy land in his season and to bless all the work of your hand. You shall lend to many nations and you, and, well, I should read it the way it's written. Thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not Is borrow. That plain? Thou shalt not borrow, and the Lord will make you the head and not the tail, yes, and you right. shall be above only, and you shall not be beneath if you hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God. Praise God. Let me give you an illustration very quickly. We've got about three minutes left. Okay. It says here, talking about being the head and not the tail, and I'll show you. We, some years ago, we went to buy a car and we were borrowing. We had some of the money, but we borrowed the rest. And this is exactly, Gloria, what happens when, when let's say that you're the creditor and I'm, I'm the one that's coming to borrow the money. Okay. And I'm having to, to bow, bow my knee, knee. <laughs> before you because you're sitting there and you're asking me all kinds yeah. of questions. How much money do you make? To whom do you owe? To whom do you owe? How much you have to lift debt? out all these things and you you just... Are you current in your bills? That's exactly right. Oh, I right. wish you hadn't asked that. <laughs> question after question after question. Yeah. And you know, Terry and I got to the place where we made the quality decision in our life. And we'll be talking about this quality decision but that quality decision um, 
Kenneth said this to me one time. He said, the moment you make a quality decision to be debt free, God sees you debt free. Right. So the moment we made that decision, we were on our road to be debt free. Oh. And I'll tell you what, to How long this, did it take? And it took, it didn't take very long for us at all. We, we were in a house, a nice house, a big house, and it took a little bit of time to unravel things. Well, we were in a nothing house. <laughs> it didn't take as much time. We but, got out of debt in 11 months. But what has happened to us, Gloria, is that I have not had to kneel before the creditor in a is long... Is the word grovel? Is that a word? Grovel is a word. <laughs> is that a good Grovel. Word? And I have not had to grovel, and I know, mm -hmm. I know how that feels. And I'm telling you today, we are of those who are of the household of faith and in Jesus' name. You are coming out of debt right now. That's right. You're Amen. coming out of debt right now. And as Gloria and I talk about this over these two weeks, every day, we're going to be talking to you and pounding it into you that you are debt free. There is Amen. hope for you. And it can be done. It can be done. And we are going to be done with debt. And as done Gloria said, debt. she said, when you are done with debt, you don't have anybody done in you anymore. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Gloria. That's right. This is going to be good. George. This is going to be fun. I'm looking forward we're to gonna, it. We're going to have a good time together. And so, hey, we've got 30 seconds left. Okay. So what do you want to talk about? <laughs> uh, oh, no, you caught me off guard. Well, though. I'll tell you what. When you, when you are, here's, I'll give you a quote that Brother Copeland gave, and it's at the bottom here of page two. Okay. And we'll talk about this further, but we had, a, we had our 30 days of glory some years ago, and he preached about debt freedom. He said, borrowing is a replacement covenant. It's going to someone else yeah, right. when you should have gone to God. That's exactly right. And when, I, when he said that, and I, we were still in debt at that time, when he said that, I wrote in my notebook, ouch. Wow. Ouch. He got through, didn't We're going to go to God, and he's faithful and he's going to get us out of debt. And you're going to show us just how to do it. We're going to do it. You've been there. We've been there. We're going to do it step by step. We're talking about being debt free mm -hmm. and how much yep. money you'll save if you're debt free. That's right. Well, you know, the, we are redeemed from the curse of the law. Right. We know that from Galatians 3.13. And we also know that from Deuteronomy 28, that debt is part of the curse. Yes, and we're is. redeemed from that That's curse. Right. So I like the title. This is actually your title, Gloria. From, from the time that we taught this about four years ago, you said to me this phrase, and you said, you ought to write a book called Done With Debt. So as I was putting this together, and this is really a refresher course for all of us to just stay refreshed in the fact that we don't have to live right. in a debt-ridden society. That's right. Done With Debt. Done with debt. And like you said yesterday, when you're done with debt, you don't have anybody dunning you. And that is an actual <laughs> term. A dun, someone who is a dun is a creditor, or yeah. like Gloria says, is a predator. And we can be free from that. We can be totally delivered oh, from that. Man. And Look I love at the pressure that you don't have. I love the decision that you and Kenneth made in 1967, almost 50 years ago, about seeing in the Word of God to own no man anything but to love him. That's right. And when you accepted that word, you adapted that to mm -hmm. your lifestyle and you made the quality decision that we will never borrow money for anything. Based and on that word. Based on that word. And here we are 50 years later and this, this is a, we're sitting in debt-free chairs. We're sitting in a debt-free studio. We don't owe anything on these cameras. All of the buildings are paid for. And as a matter of fact, we were figuring this up right before we started. The administrative building, we moved into that building in 1986. And had we, the building itself cost $7 million. Had we borrowed the money for the building on a 30 year loan, we would have been, be having a mortgage burning ceremony right now. <laughs> and we would have had paid, we would have paid $14 million in interest. On a, what did the building On a cost? $7 million building. That's unreasonable, George. <laughs> $14 million on a, on a $7 million. And so it, it stayed in the kingdom of God. It stayed in the kingdom of God. I like that. It stayed in yes, the kingdom of amen. God. And, and the same thing throughout the years. We have not owed anything on any, anything on this property. And I so appreciate the decision that you and Kenneth made in Tulsa. Not even hardly, you hadn't started your ministry no, we yet. we didn't have anything either. Yeah, and you made that decision. It was a step of faith. And we've lacked for nothing. You've lacked for nothing. And you know what? This, 
You, your decision for us and for so many others, it reminds me of that scripture when those, those brothers brought the man and dropped him, t tore up the roof yes, uh -huh. and dropped him down into where Jesus was and he got healed. That hole, there was a hole that was dug and that other people could have gone through that hole. You and Kenneth dug a hole. You had a breakthrough where debt freedom in ministry and life is concerned. And there are so many of us that can follow right behind you on this. So that's what this is all about. We have proved this out. We have taught this. We, you have taught this for years. And now we're living in that place of debt freedom. And I have to give testimony to the Lord about how free it is to be debt free. How wonderful it is to know that He is our source and that we don't have to go to the world. Right. We don't have to make covenant with the world. And there are, when, this scripture that I wanted to start out with here in John chapter eight and verses 31 and 32, <clears throat> it says, and this is the Pastor George version of it. If you continue in my word, then you are my disciples indeed. And you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you debt free. Oh, it did. It sure did. That's It'll good. make you free. The truth made you free. Yep, it sure did. And when you and Kenneth made that decision, it set you on a course. That decision of faith set you on a course that to this day you owe no man anything. Right. And it would be a sin. It would be a sin to for us. And and, you know, and I've been involved in the ministry here for 40 years with you. And I, I know this, that the option of borrowing has never come up in a meeting no, any time. It's a done deal. It's so a to done speak. deal. <laughs> it is no a done borrowing. deal. The more we know. And we've lacked for nothing. That's We have lacked. And we've not paid how much in interest? Millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. Mul 30, multiple yeah. millions of dollars. Yeah. And the Lord has that place of freedom for you as well. Yeah. Anybody who's watching right now, you can be debt free. That's the will of God for you. And debt, it's a burden and it's a weight that God wants to see removed from your life. That's right. And it can be done. And I'm gonna so, tell you the I'm gonna tell you the secret of debt freedom before we ever get started. I'm listening to you with all ears. Stop borrowing money. That is a huge revelation <laughs> right there. Stop. That's it right there. <laughs> Mary, did Don't you get that? Don't borrow money. Stop borrowing money. That's yeah, it. That's you just it. you cut it off. You just cut it off. And like I mentioned to you in between our broadcast, the quote that you have about uh, credit card debt. How, how do you, what do you have to do? This is what Gloria said. What do you, how do you get out of credit card debt? She said, you'll have to go have plastic surgery. That's right. <laughs> you'll have to cut those things in half. <laughs> and I remember, I remember right. one time when Kelly was struggling with, she had amassed some credit card debt. Uh -huh. They were trying to get on top of that. And I was talking to Kelly one day and I, we got into this conversation. She said, well, George, she said, I cut up all my credit cards. And this was Christmas time. That was big. That was big. But how bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? What are you willing to but do? But I'm telling you from experience, it's worth it is worth the price. It to is. To be debt free and not have that pressure over you. And once you get the hang of it, you lack for nothing. You know how to believe God That's right. for what you need. That's right. Well, when Terry and I had sold a house and then we borrowed the money for the next house and, and we'll talk more about this later, but I had a, I was on the broadcast with Brother Copeland shortly thereafter and we were talking about debt freedom because Gloria, I was digging in with all my might. I was digging into scripture. I was finding out what the word of God said. I've made this a lifelong study of debt freedom. And I was in this very studio the day that Kenneth and I were talking about it. We were still in debt at that time. And we were actually over there. There was a table over there and uh, he looked at me and he said, now, George, you, you lived in a debt-free house because we, before we gave the house, we paid it off. He said, you lived in a debt-free house and then you borrowed the money and you went into another house. He looked at me and he said, why did you borrow the money to do that? And, and you said. And I was, and I was so, I, I was sitting there thinking to myself, this is good for me. This is really good for me. This is very good for me. And fortunately, he answered the question, which we will talk about this later in the week, but he answered the question and he told me that my faith was not built enough or strong enough to step into that. Well, 
you know, from that point, Gloria, I just really dug into the Word. And I found out, and over these next two days, we're going to be talking about what the Word of God says about Praise living debt-free. It's exciting. We have to know that. We have to know that the Word backs the decision. That's right. That God will back our decision. His idea. It's His idea. And so let's take a look at the first two on this broadcast today. And yes, we're going thanks. over to this scripture in Romans 13, Eight oh, that's that launched the one. <laughs> launched a thousand that's ships. That's the one you can't get around. <laughs> I know, and uh, you know I have the privilege sometimes of when we go traveling, we'll fly on the Citation Ten, the the world's fastest civilian aircraft. Yes, it takes off like a rocket ship, and we get there fast. And there are times we'll. I'll sit there and just, just lift my hands to the Lord and praise God, first of all, that it's a debt-free aircraft yes. and thank Him for the partners that, right. that rallied and supported right. and put us in that aircraft to be able to go all over the world. And sometimes I'll rub on it. I'll make sure my hands are clean, but I'll rub on it and I'll say, Lord, you are so, so good. good. This is a debt-free aircraft. And there's something, there is a... There is a and, and think a, about it, George. We didn't have to buy a used one. That's right. You and we didn't, didn't have to buy a slow one. You didn't have to it buy a used a, one. It's a the slow fastest one. civilian jet in it the world. Is, it is. And it's debt free. It's debt free. Why is it debt free? Because of the Word of God. And that's why the partners of this ministry. That's right. You are connected, partners, with a yeah. debt free ministry. You have access to the anointing. Now think about this for a moment. And I'm not, I don't speak badly about any ministry, but you have a particular ministry over here that's up, up to their ears in debt. And people are, they're connected and they're trying to support that ministry. It's going to be harder for, for the anointing for debt freedom yeah. to get on them as opposed to, there is no debt here. And that anointing is on us. Right. You have taught Terry and I, we got out of debt and we never went back into debt. It, it, I drive by banks all the time. Have you lacked anything? No, we haven't lacked anything. And I drive by banks all the time and don't give it a thought. I don't think about going in there. Yeah. Like I did on the broadcast yesterday, kneel down before you and, <laughs> and, and, and uh, have to give my life over to this individual. It's wrong to make a covenant with the world. That's what, it is, it that's is. what Brother that's Copeland true. has taught us. Yeah. So let's take a look at these scriptural reasons about becoming debt-free in Romans 13, 8, that's a major one. Oh, no man, anything but that's to love one another. That's a big scripture in your life, isn't it? It is. It is. Praise God. And uh, It's a, been a blessing. In 1967, and again, all these notes are available to you online. Uh, just go to kcm.org and you can, you can get them there. But in 1967... Kenneth and Gloria made a commitment to God. And you said this. I mean, I, I'm a student of these people and I, I write down things. Lord, whatever we see in your word and we understand what you are telling us in your word, we adopt that into our lifestyle immediately, whether we like it or not, because your word is final authority. That's right. What a powerful word that and was. Being a woman, the most important thing to me was a home. <laughs> a home. Now that's a big ticket item. That's, yep. Being an aviator, the most important thing to get an airplane. <laughs> was an airplane. He can live in the hangar if he had yeah. an airplane. Yeah. So they're both big ticket items. Yeah. Well, did we do without those? No. Mm -mm. We had we we believed God. We mm -hmm. got exactly what we asked for, debt free. Yep. Yeah. Was it easy? There was some pressure to it. Mm -hmm. Was it worth it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. It was worth it. Glory, Gloria, Glory to Terry God. and I in building our house. We bought the house with cash, but then we needed to renovate it. And it took five years to renovate it. But you paid cash. We paid you? cash doing it. And there were times when the house would just sit there and we'd look at the same two by fours and yeah. go to the house. But patience. you know. Let patience have her perfect That's work. right. That's exactly what we had to do. And if I got discouraged, Terry would encourage me. If she got discouraged, I would encourage her. If we both got discouraged, we'd come see you. So. Okay. <laughs> and, now looking back, uh, yeah. it was worth it, wasn't oh, it? Oh, it was worth it, Gloria. you'd still be paying on it. It was worth it. And now that house is debt free. We don't owe on it. If we paid, if we were on a 30 year mortgage, we'd still be paying on that mortgage. On the first house? On that, on that house, oh. that house that we bought. And 
but we didn't. And now it's, it's a beautiful home and it blesses us, it ministers to us. Blessings on it. And it was a decision that we made as well as and you. And you're not in covenant with somebody you don't That's need to exactly be in right. We're with. not in covenant with the world over it. Well, in the readings and the study, you said we will obey whatever your word tells That's us to do. That's what we said. And then you said we committed ourselves to do whatever we saw in the word, no matter what it was. So you committed to Romans 13, 8. I'm saying this because I know you're going to do this today. Brother Copeland found that Romans 13, 8, and he said, he wrote this, so I'm quoting him. Surely God didn't mean that. Oh, no man, anything but to love him. He said that scripture must mean something else someplace. So you looked up the Amplified Bible. I think the Amplified Bible was an out. It was like, well, maybe it says something different yeah, in the Amplified. Yeah. Maybe it'll help. Oh, but the Amplified Bible was worse or better. It said, keep out of debt and owe no man anything except to love one another. So keep out of debt. That's what the Word yeah, says. How can you misunderstand? There's no misunderstanding there. And Kenneth said, it looked impossible to do anything without borrowing money. And I remember the whole story about this. Yeah, he took yeah. that to you. You all looked at it. And, he's, and what he wrote was Gloria, Gloria walked out of the room <laughs> and, <laughs> and came back. And here's your response. Listen to this. This was her response to Romans 13, 8. Well, praise God. The word of God was not written for our disadvantage. It was written That's for right. our advantage. It is our, in our, it was to our advantage to live debt free. That's right. That was your answer. And that should be our answer. Praise that, God. That what Romans 13, 8 says, it's not written for your, your disadvantage. It was written for our advantage. And, and you know, when we, <laughs> you said this, all of your quotes are coming back to me here. You said on one of our broadcasts about how um, you don't have to, if you, if you go to the world you have to borrow it from them. If you go to God, He'll give it to you. That's right. He'll provide it. He'll send it. That's He'll get it so, to you. So good. Glory That's to so God. That's so good, Gloria. Amen. That's right. And then your response, um, it's our, to our advantage to live debt free. And then you said you would think that God was putting you in a bind when He committed when you committed to living debt free, but go to page two because it continues on there. Okay. <laughs> she said, you would think that God was putting you in a bind when you commit to living debt free, but you said, on the contrary, you are allowing him to stretch you and pull you out into something better that's than right. what you oh, had. Oh yeah, that's right. Wow. That's right. You're so, limited the other way. You're not limited this way. That's right. And you said we're taking God's Word literally and whatever we see in it, that's what we're going to do. And then you said if, we have, if you have access to gold streets, then you have excess of goods. You have an excess of goods. So it's available to us. That's right. So one of the major reasons that we are to pursue this debt freedom is what it says in the Word. Owe no man anything but to love one another. Or, as it says here, keep out of debt. So let's look at another reason. I've never seen anything in the Word that was not to our advantage. Every bit of it is to our advantage. God doesn't tell yeah. us to do anything yeah. that takes away from the blessing. He that's tells right. us to do what manifests yeah, the blessing. That's right. That's right. He's leading us, constantly leading us to the land of milk and honey. That's right. Always. Praise That's Amen. what the Holy Spirit does. Amen. Now, so we need to settle that. You need to settle that. Romans 13, 8 is a major scripture in your life. The Amplified Translation, keep out of debt. So you can go before the Lord and say, Lord, based on this scripture right now, we are headed out of debt. Yes. So if you look at page two, Gloria, okay. uh, and it says reason number two on page two, yeah. borrowing, oh, we are debt free because our covenant must be with God and not with the world. We must be in covenant with Him. One of the things that Brother Copeland said in the, the 30 days of glory that we had meeting, he said, borrowing is a replacement covenant. It was going to the yeah. world when you should have gone to God. That's right. And when I heard that, that what he said, it's a replacement covenant. I, we have a covenant with God. That's one of the first things that I learned when I came here 40 years ago, our covenant with God and what we have available in that covenant. And he tells that story, I remember so early on in the book that he wrote, Our Covenant with God, about 
the man that took the trip on the the ocean liner from yeah. England yeah, to America, and he saved up his money to go on that trip. He took like bologna and cheese. Yeah, it took something. cheese and crackers. It was <laughs> cheese and crackers on the trip, and he got on the ship, and he's walking by where they had the dining room and all the beautiful foods and the meals, and, and then he go back to his room and eat cheese and crackers. And finally, on the last day of the trip, the <laughs> captain comes to him and says, you've been with us on this trip. He said, did we offend you? Did we hurt you in some way? And he said, no, why? He said, well, I've noticed you've never been in the dining hall with us when we eat. And he said, he said the dining hall, well, well, I didn't pay for that. And the, the captain looked at him and said, well, it was included in the meal. It was included in the ticket. The ticket, yeah. And he didn't realize that the meal was included in the ticket. So many people do not realize right, that, that debt freedom and prosperity is included in the full redemption the plan of Jesus. It's, yeah. it's included yeah. in the blessing. That's right. It's ours. Isn't that good? So we have a covenant with God and we have to focus on that covenant. The world, Brother Copeland says, has a system of finance which mm -hmm. is complex and very poor in its operation. It continually rocks back and forth between two extremes of depression and inflation. We are in covenant with Almighty God through the blood of Jesus Christ, the most powerful form of agreement ever established. And there's a scripture here that I found, 1 Chronicles 16, 15, be ye mindful always, always, always of his covenant. Um, the word which he commanded for a thousand generations. So we have a covenant with God and we have to remind ourselves that in this covenant, we have access to debt freedom. That's right. And what you hear in the natural on the news and different things, mm -hmm. it's a good time to be there. It's a good time. It's, it's always a great yeah. time. But yeah. there may be times of extreme pressure. Well, you know, I get the indication from listening to Brother Copeland that we better get out of debt and get out now. That's exactly right. That's how difficult things are going to be. And the Lord can turn this around really quick. Yeah. There's a supernatural acceleration that I've seen in so many people's lives that, man, this thing can be taken care of, not only for individuals, but for pastors and ministries. A good friend of mine had a service uh, a few months ago in his church. He, he has a church in Wales. And we were there recently preaching in his church uh, close partners with this ministry. They come to the minister's conference, Alex and Jane Ashton, mm -hmm. and they had a mortgage burning ceremony Hallelujah. in their church. Praise and God. you know what he told me, Gloria? He said, it is because of the things that Kenneth Copeland Ministries has taught that has been able to get their church out of debt. Praise God. And they have had a celebration, a huge celebration over this. Well, what did he do? He looked to the word. He made the word of yeah, God his source. It. You went to the Lord. He stopped borrowing money and he got in covenant with God and realized that in that covenant, it belongs to him already. That's right. So, so many of us That's right. are, are needing to make that covenant with God. And I'll just read these couple of scriptures. I think we have, we have one minute left. Philippians 4.19, my God will liberally yes, supply, amen. fill to the full. That's important every need according to his riches and glory. In Deuteronomy 28, 11, and the Lord shall make you have a surplus, surplus more of than prosperity. Enough. In Genesis 15, 1, after these things, the word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision saying, fear not, I'm your shield. I am I'm your exceeding great reward. And one of the translations says, I'm your rapidly increasing money supply. What one is that? What translation? That is the Leroy Thompson translation, <laughs> and he got it from the Greeks, from the Hebrew somewhere. I need to find out. But, Praise God. And then, and then finally, God has a much better way to supply the needs than to get in covenant with the world. That's He's right. our supreme He's provider, our abundant supplier, our total source of supply. And God is saying to us today, look to me, not to the world. They will loan it to you. I will give oh, it to I you. Oh, I like that. Isn't Praise that wonderful, God, Gloria? Joy. That's awesome. Praise God. I will give it to you. I now that's Bible. That's, that he that's, says what he'll yep, do. I'll he'll meet it. all of our needs according yes, to what? Yep. His riches. His and riches glory. and glory. Not Christ according Jesus. to the depression or recession yeah, or the problems right. that are in the earth, but according to his riches and glory. They don't ever have financial trouble up there. We're talking about victory over debt. Praise today. God. Yes, amen. So if you're in debt, amen. you listen up. Or if you want to stay out of debt, listen up. You know something, Gloria, I was just thinking about this, that Brother Copeland often goes to recurrent training mm -hmm. on aircraft, Citation yeah. 10, mm -hmm. 
other aircraft that we have. At least once a year, sometimes twice. It's a, I think it's a good idea that we have recurrent training I as know well it is. Yeah. in these things, and we're going through recurrent training right now where debt freedom is concerned. There okay. are some people that heard us teach this thing. four like years that. ago, but there are others who have never heard That's this right. before. And you may be in a situation where you're covered up with debt and the pressure is intense and you have people dunning you. Now, I've learned that from Gloria during this week that the, a, a dun is a creditor that puts pressure insistent on demands, uh, insistent demand. Especially, upon, uh, especially for payment of a debt. Yeah, and that's, that's a terrible place to be. The pressure, the intense yeah. pressure of Sometimes debt freedom. Sometimes they threaten you with a gun. I mean, if you borrowed from the wrong people, <laughs> you can get yourself in trouble. You are so right, Gloria. You borrow yourself from <laughs> yeah. some of those people. That, it's just pressure if you yeah. borrow from the right people, but if you borrow from the wrong oh people, my. it can be it's like some bad of those, pressure. Like some of those people Jesse talks about, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Jesse. We I got a I... deal you can't refuse here. Well, we're free from debt, and we are learning how to be free from debt. And that's why Gloria and I are here for this week and next week, because every day we're going to talk about an aspect of your debt freedom that's that you right. can be redeemed from and delivered from, and the process of that can begin right now. Amen. It can start right now. Amen. And Gloria, what we're doing, and we started this yesterday, we just started looking into the Word of God and finding out what the Word has to say about living debt-free. very clear about because like what, what not to do. Yeah, and what you said about the decision you and Kenneth made early on in your lives about whatever the Word of God says, we will adopt that to our lives mm -hmm. and we will, we will make that a vital part of what we believe. And you found Romans 13, 8. Oh, man, that was a low blow, that, too. <laughs> we, didn't know, we didn't know about acting on the Word like we do now and that everything in there is going to be for my good, you know. Yeah, yeah. I thought, man, how am I ever going to have a house? Ken thinks airplane, I think house. I guess he thinks you can live in the airplane, but... You wanted a house. I wanted a house. Yeah. And, and at the time, you were in a desperate situation. You were in a place that you wanted to be out of. Yeah. But through these years, and I, I've been here 40 of the 50 years of this ministry. So <laughs> we should give e you a trophy. even though I wasn't here in those very first early days, I did pay attention once I got here. And you I, did, George. I saw what listener. the Lord has done, and I have adapted that to my lifestyle, brought that into our lifestyle. And I must say, Gloria, that this, it really has been a, a most exciting thing for me when we did a little celebration with the staff the other day for my 40th. And I was just, before I went to that, that uh, chapel that we did, I was just thinking about all of the things that I've learned and everything of all the places that I could have gone and, and really, growing up in Massachusetts, it took the Lord getting me to ORU and then down here through it's Terry. It's a long way to Texas. It's isn't a long, I never thought I'd live in Texas. I never thought I would be here. But I enjoy <laughs> it. I enjoy. Well, you've well, adapted very yeah, well. Yeah, I've adapted. And, and now here's the thing about it, though. I got down here, and you all taught me how to eat uh, uh, cornbread and, and cornbread. biscuits and gravy. That's right. And now, now you're telling me not to. It's like <laughs> you got to eat healthy. Well, you're gonna eat so much of it. <laughs> you can only eat so much. Yep. But I have been. Uh, all of these things that I teach on the broadcast and all of the notes that we have are available. All 253 days of That's prosperity awesome. are available on kcm.org. But everything that I'm talking to you about right now, I learned it from them. I just paid attention. <laughs> I just paid attention to what you were teaching me. I upon you the doctorate of prosperity. <laughs> I receive Dr. it. Dr. Pearson. Dr. Pearson's. Well, I'll tell you something about prosperity around here. And I heard this from Brother Copeland early on when I was traveling on the road. And I heard him say, one of the missions of this ministry is to teach the laws that govern supernatural yeah. abundance and prosperity. Right. So I took it. I took it. That's what. That's one of the things that we do is te teach supernatural abundance and prosperity. Teach and it and live it. Live it and learn how to live debt free. And there are scriptural reasons why we should live debt free. Scriptural reasons why it's good to be debt free. And Gloria, I'll just recap just quickly. Yesterday we talked about... Um, we, we live debt-free because the Word tells us to live debt-free. Romans 13, 8. 
owe no man anything but to love him. We live debt free because, and this is on my notes from yesterday. We'll go to today's in a okay. moment. We live debt free because our covenant must be with God. We have a covenant with God. And in that covenant, we have certain articles of the covenant. And prosperity and debt freedom is part of the covenant that we have with God. We now, depend on him. We look to Him. The blessing. We look to Him, and it really does bring us into this next point, and that is, I live debt-free because borrowing from the world will make you a slave to the lender. That's what it says. Borrow is subject to the lender. Mm -hmm. So that's no, there's no question about That's it. right. And it says here in Deuteron Deuteronomy 28, and Deuteronomy 28, the first 14 verses are the blessing, the balance of that chapter is the curse of the law. We've been redeemed from the curse of the law. We've been set free from it. But it says here, the stranger that is within you shall get up above thee very high and you shall come down very low. He will lend to you yeah. uh -huh. and you shall not lend to him. He shall be the head. Mm -hmm. He shall be the he head. He shall be the head. And you shall, you be, shall be the, the tail. tail. That's and, just the way it is. And you brought out something about the fact of the word stranger. Just before we went on the air, you were talking about the word stranger and the fact that you have to, when you go to the bank, you bow your knee to somebody you've never met before. A lot you don't of know times. their background. You don't know what they've been through or what they believe. And you're coming into covenant with this individual. That's a stranger. That's right. That's what you said. That's a, and I had not thought about that until three minutes ago I don't before know if we started I have this. Either. The stranger that is with you shall get up above you very high. You shall come down very low. He will lend it to you. You will not lend to him. He will be the head. You shall be the tail. Now, now you've got a stranger as the head. That's not good. And guess who's the tail? That's, that's who we are. But we're not doing that. We're not going no, there. We're You're not, not going there. No, no, You're no. not going there. We have a father. We You're done have. with debt. We, we can go to our father. And that's right. Money. And that's right. Houses and land and whatever we need. I, I wrote down You know, here, that's really a thought because you, you choose to go to a stranger yeah. when you have a father that owns everything. Ah, Gloria, what a revelation. I hadn't thought of that myself. What a revelation. You mm -hmm. choose to go to some stranger when your father is wanting to give it to you. Yes, oh, he that's owns good. it all. He owns it all. That's so a you good. You can see why that's not advisable. <laughs> Absolutely, it is not advisable to do that. It really isn't. And I mean, if you're in the if you're in a position that you're about to step through the doors of a bank and you're going to borrow big time on something, stop right now, and reevaluate what you're about to do, and don't do anything until you've listened to these broadcasts yes. and you've you have the product. And Gloria, the product is free. There's no excuse. No excuse. No excuses whatsoever. The product that we have for you about the 21 days to your debt freedom, it's absolutely free. So you can start this journey right away, but borrowing makes us a slave to the lender. Mm -hmm. And I did some research here in the word lend, it means to twine or unite or cleave or to be joined with. So bound whoever, up. Yeah, bound world. up with. And the head is the top, the summit, the chief, the ruler. And then here I wrote the tail is the end or the stump. Hmm. You become the stump, or it actually means to wag, hmm. to wag. So basically what we're saying so, here is... okay, here's a dog. Yeah. Here's his tail. Yeah. He wags. Who, who, who's doing this? The dog is wagging the tail. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So we don't want to be the tail. No, no. And that's what happens. We don't want to be wagged. That's, we don't want to be wagged. <laughs> In Proverbs 22, 7, the rich ruleth over the poor, the borrower is the servant to the lender. And look at this word servant there in number two, little a. It's a servant in the Hebrew. It means to work, to enslave, and to keep in bondage. Oh, my. So we don't truth? want to be the servant to the lender. We don't want to do that. In order to borrow, you have to subordinate yourself to another person. And it's very difficult to ever get out. It is. It is. Especially if you don't know what you're doing. That's right. Day. That's right. Mm -hmm. Or the, the, the New American Standard Bible says you become the, the lender's slave. Mm 
What if you made a loan? Don't they have 40-year loans on houses? Well, I don't know if they have 40-year loans. I know they have 30-year loans. Well, all right, let's just say 30-year loan. That's a 30-year loan. How yeah. long is 30 years? 30 long. years is 30. It's a long time. <laughs> it's a long time to be subservient to that. Yeah. And every yeah. month you're paying that payment. And you, boy, if you're... It takes you, you a long time to ever get half and half. It where, does. Where you get half interest and half principal. It does. I'm telling you, Gloria, it it's does. It's mostly all interest for a long For time. a long, long time. That Paying off that interest. And we don't, we don't want to do that. We don't want to be there. And uh, in the product that we have, the 21 Days to Your Debt Freedom, there is a DVD that John good, and I did good. of some of the things that you can do practically to be able to pay off debt. And you know, Terry and I did that. We were, we were, we were throwing chunks at it to, to beat the interest. We we're trying to beat the interest. Uh -huh. And so once we got going, there was a supernatural momentum that was taking place. And once you get in that river of faith, there's a momentum that happens, and this thing will be owner over sooner than you think. Glory, there's a supernatural acceleration in faith that takes place, that the more you feed your faith, That's the more right. you exercise your faith, the faster these things happen. That's true. The faster your healing takes place, the faster getting out of debt takes place, the faster the income. That's because I mean, you're you're strong, getting stronger. That's all right. The time. That's right. And our covenant, our covenant is with God, and we are not a slave to the lender. We no. we are the head and not the tail. So that's one of the reasons why we should be debt free. That's Another right. one here. Let me read this scripture to you, Gloria. And this is very fascinating to me, because. It says in Proverbs 22, 6, train up, this is on your second page, okay. train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. The rich ruleth over the poor, and the borrower is the servant to the lender. That, mm -hmm. that train up a child in the way he should go is in the same yes, paragraph as the rich ruleth over the poor and the borrower is the servant to the lender. So that right. says to me, They're tied together. that's one of the things that we have to be teaching and training our children. We have to be debt free so that we can set an example before our children. That's right, praise And God. a couple of things uh, that I wrote here, the average Christian child is born into a family whose life exists around credit cards, yeah. mortgages, and loans. Mm -hmm. Most Americans raise their children in homes that have a 30-year mortgage. Right. They drive their children to school in finance cars. They wash their clothes in washing machines that have been financed through department store revolving credit. They sleep on mortgage beds, sit in mortgage furniture, and watch mortgage television sets. <laughs> Most of these children never see their families come out of debt during their lifetime. <clears throat> and what, what some parents do is they are, uh, fathers will teach their children how to get the best loan. Yeah, how to... And think they're doing them a favor. And think they're doing them a favor, as opposed to saying there is a better way to do this. Instead of teaching them how to trust God as their source, they teach them how to get the very best rate on a loan or how to finance a car. Mm -hmm. So we find here that we have a responsibility to our children to teach them how to live debt free. And that's what happened with you and, and Kenneth. This came as a revelation to you then you passed it down to John, to Terry, to Kelly. We have all taken that. We've adopted that into our lives. And now our kids, yeah. they're pressing into this. Praise they're God. doing the very same thing. Amen. So now you've reached the third generation and you've locked Praise into God. it and you've done exactly what the word says because we have to teach our children how to Praise live God. debt free. Praise Another God. reason that we are debt free because our motivation for debt freedom is giving. You, it's really hard to give when you owe everybody. It's really hard. It's a motivation. It's a motivation. How many, how many, well, I know that this ministry has sown over 30 aircraft over the years. It has sown, and Brother Copeland shared this with me, that, that we have been involved in uh, giving other ministries uh, $100,000 or more towards an aircraft. And there have been many aircraft that have been sown from this ministry. It seems like every time we turn around, an airplane would be flying away, flying away. <laughs> because so we've sown it. <laughs> and then, exactly. And, and what has happened is that because you, you could not sow an airplane that you have borrowed the money from the bank on. That you owed on. You owed on. You can't do that. Mm -hmm. It doesn't belong to you. That's right. It, it's not yours. It's not yours to give. 
But when you owe money, you can't give it. When you don't owe anybody for it, you are free to give. That's right. You're absolutely free to give. Yeah. And that's the thing that so impressed me about this ministry and how we've operated because I've seen, I've seen airplanes fly away. I've seen cars oh, sewn. Essentially, you can't give what you don't own. What you don't there, own. What you, don't, you, you can't, can't give, give what, what you, you don't, don't own. own. That's right. <laughs> and debt freedom, the motivation for debt freedom really is giving because it's our heart to give. We got that from you guys. It's jumped over onto us. And we love to, love to give and we love to sow into others' lives. And let's have, just look at have this. Have you lacked for anything? We have not lacked. The Lord we just keeps blessing us anything. over and over. It just keeps coming in. And um, if you look at this, at point C there, mm -hmm. our motivation for debt freedom is giving. The scripture that we use is Genesis 12, 2. I will make of you a great nation. I will bless you with abundant increase of favors and make your name famous mm -hmm. and distinguish. And you shall be a blessing distributing, dispensing goods to others. Now I have several That's quotes good. here. Several quotes that I heard Brother Copeland say. Let me, let me read this to you. Or we can read them together. Let me read the first one. True prosperity is not for keeping your bills paid and your body well just so you can lie around and watch TV in comfort. God is not prospering us to get us out of debt so we can get into bigger debt. He's not prospering us so we can buy and buy and buy. He's prospering us so that we can give and give and give. Now that's, that is a quote that Brother Copeland that's gave good. some years ago that I, boy, when I heard that, my attention stood up in the fact that debt freedom opens the door for our giving and our sowing right. into others' lives, to be able to free. If you're having to sit down and do your bills and you're having to write out huge checks for the monthly payment on the cars yeah. and the monthly payment on the house and the monthly payment on whatever it is, you don't have anything left over. That's but right. I'll tell you, Gloria, there's a way to live and you've that's taught right. me how to do Praise this. God. There's a way to live that's so far beyond the living in a place of debt freedom. There's a place that you can live that is beyond whatever you've ever experienced. And there is what I call life after debt. There's a place to live where you, and that's where Terry and I are, where are now right now. That's where you and Kenneth are. That's where we are living in this place of life after debt. And it just gets the pressure of that debt just lifts. I can remember when we made the final payment on our house and it was done, it was over with. And I could sense that lifting on the inside. It was over, it was through. We were, and you can live that same way. One of the things that Brother Copeland said, um, look at, why don't you read number three there, Gloria. True prosperity is the ability to look a person in the eye in their moment of impossibility and take their needs on as your own. Mm -hmm. So into them. That's right. And help somebody else. And I've then seen when you it. do that, you increase your harvest. Of course, it just can increases more and more and more. But how can you give furniture that you don't, that you owe on? How can you do you any of do that? that? They'll come get you if you do. <laughs> Terry and I, they will. Terry and I, we knew that the house that we sowed into a family, we knew that we had to pay that off because we didn't own it until it was. Mm -hmm. And we made a full court press and we just started paying that thing off and we paid it off. And the day that we paid it off, we knew that it was ours to give. We could do whatever we wanted to do with it. We weren't serving anybody in it and we were free to give it. And the same thing has happened with vehicles. We've given vehicles over the years. We, one time we cleaned out our living room because we just believed that we needed to sew our furniture into another family. And we cleaned out our living room. And Gloria, you would laugh at this. But we, the day they came and took all the furniture, there was no furniture in the living room. So that night, it was a Friday night. can remember it distinctly. Terry and I were going to watch TV. So we took the lawn chairs <laughs> from the backyard yeah. and brought them into the living room. And we sat there in the lawn chairs. I was laying down in one of those lawn chairs watching TV. But we were rejoicing because we were able to sow you were expecting in, harvest. into a family. And we were yeah. expecting harvest. And we have not lacked. We have not lacked in furniture since. Praise God. We have not. So these reasons that God has given us, we have a covenant with God. 
We have, a, we have the Word of God that we can stand on. And I just pray for you right now in the name of yes, Jesus that Lord. your life of debt freedom has begun. It's already started. And you're hearing these things in your faith. Faith for debt freedom comes by hearing and hearing by the yeah, word of God. That's right. And I declare you glory and I declare you debt yes, free in the yes. name of Jesus. Be debt free we declare Jesus that, that, that uh, load of debt, the burden of debt being removed from you in the name of Jesus. And we stand with you in faith yes, right Lord. now for your debt Praise freedom. God. I say in Jesus' name, you are done with yes, debt done with in the debt. name of of Jesus. of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. And amen. Glory to God. Praise well done, God, George. Gloria. What's the first step to getting out of debt? Quit borrowing money. Quit borrowing money. That's <laughs> it right there. <laughs> That's it. Now remember I told you. We're talking about victory in your money, mm -hmm. victory in your finances. Pastor George is here and he's going to share some more good stuff with we us. We have been having such a great time. I know. Gloria, I, like I always enjoy coming on the broadcast with you. You just... You come up with some of the greatest, we call them around here, gloriasms, <laughs> gloriasms. And you, uh, that's why we have somebody in the studio who's taking notes that we add that to the notes. By the way, all of the notes that we're teaching from are available to you on kcm.org. All you have to do is go over to the picture of glory and me and click on it. And there you go. These all of the very notes. Very valuable notes. And not just, not just these notes from these, this series that we're teaching on debt freedom, but also uh, all of the notes from when we started six years ago, all 254 notes are available on awesome? KCM. So you can, you can find them there. And what I was saying to you a minute ago about Gloria and the Gloriaisms, um, you know, we're talking about debt freedom and being done with debt. And I was thinking about how you can be, you can have a 30 year mortgage and you can be faithful in that mortgage for 29 years and you start missing about three or four payments. And this is, the, this is your quote. What happens when you miss a few payments? They take the house and you get the boot. That's right. So <laughs> we don't want you to get the boot. No, we don't no, want no. you. We want you to keep your house and we want you to get into a nicer house. And that's why we're talking about why we, ha we, we must be done with debt. You have to have an attitude about this. You really do because Debt is an aggressive spiritual force and it will come in and try to take over and you have to be more aggressive about getting rid of that debt in your, in your household and coming to the realization that you can w live without debt, just you've the way you taught a, us. Uh, you've made a commitment. You've made a... A quality decision yeah, but about... It ties, something that ties you with... Oh, that oh, company. yeah, you, word, with uh, the, the, you a bond, you've the, made a, a bond that's yeah. a bondage. You've made a, the, this, the borrower is the servant to the lender. That's and right. that's the connection, the yeah. covenant connection that is made. And you, you have become literally one with them. And I like what you said about the, the first step <clears throat> to being debt free is to stop borrowing. That's Just right. quit it. That's Just it. quit it right there. First step. And uh, the same thing with credit cards. Cut yep. them up. Get rid of them. And I know that the Lord has a debt freedom strategy just for you in the same way that he had one with Kenneth and Gloria, which we'll talk about that next He'll week. Help you. We're going to talk next week about how Terry and I got out of debt and about the things that you've written, you and Kenneth both, about getting out of debt. And I think it's interesting for them to know what, what did you do? What were the things that you did? And I think primarily the thing that you did that we learned from you is you took the word at face value and believed God when he said in Romans 13, 8, Oh, no man, anything but to love him. What can you misunderstand <clears throat> What? Yeah, that? so you took that and you ran with it. And all of these almost now 50 years in ministry, you have never borrowed. And we've never lacked. You've never borrowed, you've never lacked. we've gotten every, every project done that he's told us to do. That's right. So Everything has it worked. Yeah. And now we're on BVOVN, Dish TV. We have our own Dish channel. And we're looking at other channels, um, Direct TV. We're on Apple TV. I mean, the Word of God is getting out and there. And we're having to use our faith. That's mm -hmm. a big Absolutely. Deal, that dish. Absolutely. That Dish bill is a big it, deal. It's a big one. Yeah. So. But and so, and, but the thing about it too is. Look at where it goes. So it goes everywhere. Just think about what you and Kenneth have done in the decision to allow other ministers to be on there and not charge them for anything. 
the seed that you're sowing We're so in seed. getting the Word of God. He, Kenneth is a most unusual individual. I'm telling you, he's a sight to live with. My goodness, I just can't <laughs> imagine. But the, the, he's, he, he's like a spiritual genius. You know, sometimes I sit there at a meeting and listen to him talk, and I'll, I'll say to myself, Oh my gosh, <laughs> where does he get that? Where did he get that? Well, I'm believing though, I'm believing for that because you know what he said in Calgary at the Canada meeting we were just at, he said any pastor can believe God for revelation on the level of a prophet. I never heard that before. I took it. You took it? I took it. I've been believing That's God good. For, for as a pastor for revelation on the level of a prophet. I've never heard him say that. Mm -hmm. I agree with it's you, good. It's good. So we're talking about debt freedom and Gloria. What I've really done is over these years have compiled scriptures, notes, things that I've taught and have endeavored to organize it in such a degree that we're able to pass this on to others. When somebody says, Pastor George and Terry, what did you do to become debt free? I'm able to now hand good. them the package, 21 days to your debt freedom, which includes what you've taught us about that as well. We're able to hand them materials absolutely free. Um, the 10, 10 CD series that we have on the broadcast, Praise absolutely God. free to you about how uh, how to get started in debt freedom. So one of the things that the Lord talked to me about when I began this journey of debt freedom, he said, George, there are three debt free issues that you must settle. Mm. Three debt free issues you must settle. And let's go over these together. First one was from Philippians 419 and Philippians 419 says, but my God shall supply all my need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. And the Lord said to me, he says, you've got to settle this. He said, God is my source, that's not right. people. Yes, that's right. God is our source. God is your source. He is the source to, ev he's the source to your debt freedom. And we have to adjust our thinking because there is a, 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 um, a, a vicious circle that people get into. They start looking to how many, when there's a financial issue, they look to getting another job or two jobs. They look to their family to borrow money from instead of going to God who is the source of all things. Now I'll mention this right here. You and I did a series on the broadcast some months ago called God is My Source. And that series is also available to you absolutely free. We did 10 days and we talked about nothing but God is our source. And what I did, Gloria, is we took the information that we taught and we put it in this little book. Good. And we have, every one of the 10 days is summarized in this little book. Awesome. And it has 70 scriptures in here about God being our source. And so we want to give this to you. You can write to kcm.org. We'll make that available to you absolutely free so that you can, this is going to help you see what is in the first point here about God being your source. He is the one who is our source. A source is the point of origin. It's the beginning place. And he is, he is the source of our provision. He's the source of whatever we need. He is the source of our debt freedom. So I'll give you that book, I'll Gloria. That's yours. I'll just that very much. Thank and um, that's, that has quotes in there by Gloria and quotes from me and qu quotes from Brother Copeland and all of the scriptures that we talked about during that series that we did on uh, God is My Source. This is well said, George. Tell God me. is determined that I be prosperous. There you go. That's the truth. He's that's true. That's been very true. For his people to be prosperous, mm -hmm. and I am determined to do his will. Is that from you, George? Did I write what that? What wisdom? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't say it. I that's excellent. I don't know where that one came from, but it's a good one. I like you it. You can take credit for it. I don't. <laughs> but think you I can. Said it. That's why we're making this book available yeah. because we, Amen. again, we spent ten days. And it's got the scripture references, mm -hmm. so you can look up all the scriptures. Now, where does faith come from? Faith comes from hearing, and hearing by the word of God. So you meditate. If you want to be out of debt, if you want to stay in debt, it's okay with me. But if you want to get out of debt, <laughs> oh. you take these scriptures and you meditate them. You, yeah, you say them. Right. You, you see yourself, whatever, however it says, you know, and it's out of debt scriptures. He satisfies the thirsty with 
He satisfies the thirsty and fills the hungry mm -hmm. with good things. Mm -hmm. Isn't that good? Mm -hmm. So you can apply this, even though this book is not particularly centered around debt freedom, you can apply this to your debt yeah. freedom. The Lord has been mindful of us. He will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless them that fear the Lord. That's where we come in, mm -hmm. both small and great. Mm -hmm. The Lord shall increase you more, more and, and more, more, you and, and your, your children. children. That's it. Ooh, I like That's this it. book. This is a good book. So we want to make that available I'll to you. It. But the first point that the Lord brought to me, George, you've got to settle this, that, that I am your source. Yes. Yeah, Not right. people. Don't look to people. Look to me. And when you look to God, now he'll use people. He uses people to get things to us. But we're not, I like, I've heard Kenneth say this. I've heard you talk about it. I've heard Keith Moore say it. Faith does not put pressure on people. No. You have never ever in the history of the Believer's Voice of Victory broadcast ever heard these two get on here and beg for money. No, that's Never. Right. Mm -hmm. And there were times when we were going through financial it issues. It would like be a good idea. <laughs> it would be a good idea. <laughs> but, it wasn't. but you never did that. God was always your source. Yes, he and I'm is. telling you today, God is the source of your debt freedom. He will get rid of that debt in your life if you will apply the principles of faith and the things that yes, you're taught I from do. the Word of God. So we use Philippians 4.19. Uh, I like this translation. It's the Bible in basic English. It's number four on your page there mm -hmm. under A. My God will give you all you have need of from the wealth of His glory in Christ Jesus. I like that. And then the one under it, it's the, it's the amplified translation. Uh, it says, my God will liberally supply fill to the full your every need according to His riches in glory in Christ Jesus. Now, you know, that doesn't have anything to do. It's not according to anything that's in the earth. You're right. Except your faith. You're absolutely right. Everything else is God. Yeah. God will yeah. liberally supply, yeah. fill to the full your every need according to not what's happening here in the earth, That's but right. according to His riches, His riches and glory, glory. Yeah. in Christ Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. They don't have recessions there. That's right. They don't have That's re right. recessions there. There's no fluctuation in the economy of the kingdom of God. They out of gold. Yeah, that's right. That's exactly right. Hallelujah. So I want you to say this after me, and Gloria, you can repeat it too after me. My God, My God is the total source of supply. Is the total source of supply. To remove all debt. To remove all debt. He provides all that I need. He provides all that I need. To live debt free. To live debt free. So we have to settle that issue that God is my source. Yes, and it right. wouldn't be a bad idea to take that little book if you're struggling with that and you read it every day. That's true. You get extra credit if you read it every day. And Faith comes every day. It does. Don't and also, it. not only is the book, this the book available to you, but you can go online and there's a there's a, a PDF download that you can get. You can download the book right now online. Well, not right this minute, so stay with us. But you can download the book. So we are just endeavoring to get as much as we can to you so that you can then begin the journey of getting out of debt. What happens? Faith comes by hearing mm -hmm. and hearing by the Word of God. So faith to get out of debt comes by hearing scriptures on getting e out of exactly. debt and what God says about exactly. it and what's available to you. And you take it. Yep. You say it. Yep. You believe you receive it. Yep. You act on it. And look, and you'll get out of debt. The only way that I can see that has worked uh, and has has the best results, you know, you can go to church on Sunday, hear a good message, put your Bible away, your books away, your CDs away, and not listen to anything for a week. You're not going to gain much ground that way. No, you don't. But the way that you gain the ground, and you taught me this, total immersion. Yeah total immersion in the Word of God. In the Word every day. And they can take the product that we're offering free, the 21 Days to Your Debt Freedom. I mean, get on that and listen to it all the time. Amen. And get, be, become debt freedom conscious. See yourself being debt free. Well, I had to settle the issue that God is our source. The second issue that must be settled is you are not limited to a salary. Isn't that good news? That's good. See, people can look at their, they can compare their salary to the debt load. That's just part of your blessing. It's not your blessing. It's, yeah, that's it's right. You're your exactly blessing. right. That's one stream, one river yeah. 
of provision that God has for our lives is our income. And, and really in Ephesians 4.28, Brother Copeland says uh, that, that your income should really be your seed. Now to come to that place in our lives where your income actually becomes the seed that you sow because you have so much harvest that's coming in. And Gloria and I have taught, I'm thinking about the two week series that you and I taught on how to reap your harvest. There are so many things that we have available to you that you can learn from and develop your faith in this. But Ephesians 4.28 says, let him labor working with his hands the thing which is good that he may have to give to him that needs. So our income should really eventually become the seed that we sow. But I'm telling you folks something, this, this is from our notes. God has unlimited supernatural ways to get us out of debt and into, a, and into living a debt-free oh, free lifestyle. A debt-free lifestyle. He has ways to do that. Let me dig through something here. You um, don't have to dread the first of the month. No, you really don't. You really don't. It doesn't have to come around and you wonder and worry about it. And this... This, Gloria, it's not in your notes right there, but I've included it in their notes. When Terry and I were believing for debt freedom, freedom we pressed in. We, we were on a, a, a press of yeah. faith to believe God. And one of the things that I did was I took Leroy Thompson's series called Money Cometh. Money Cometh to Me Now. And I think it was, yeah, I think it was maybe 12 Back then, these were cassettes, and I'm sure that Leroy Thompson still has them available. But we listened to those, and we built within ourselves the image of being debt-free and being in a home, a beautiful home. Yeah. And one of the things that I did, Gloria, that we're making available to them, this is a document that I created during that time. And it's, it's, um, yeah. it's 100, I don't have it in these oh. notes, but it's available to them on the whole package. It's 191 scriptures, 21 ways that God supplies. And I, I organize it in such a way that That's I've got awesome, tithing, sowing and reaping, the law of multiplication, giving to the poor, and, and on and on and on. What was I doing? I was enlarging my capacity to be able to see God providing for us even beyond my salary. Well, how, how does faith come? It comes by hearing. It comes by hearing, hearing the word, the word of God. And here it is. This is the word of God. So I put I put that together for them. Thank you. So I that, assume this is my. That's copy. yours. You can Thank keep you that one. Much. And, Isn't that uh, awesome? Really, Everybody, I'm, you should get the 191 scriptures. I'm thinking about it, Gloria. Gloria. I thought about this and didn't have time to do it, but I, I really think that that would make a great little book just I like that one. I think you should do that. So I'm, I'm yeah, going to, with her, with her command. Command. I command you to do <laughs> I will, that. I will make that. And give me the first copy. I'll do it. I'll do it. Um, and then we'll come on and offer it to everybody. We'll They'll do want that. it. Yeah. I'm talking to you about, yeah. now see, George has taken the time to do the research. You don't get all this stuff without a lot. I'd say research. hours and hours yeah, and hours in does. the Word, and it you've does. put it together for us, and I appreciate yeah. it. So the first thing we have to settle is God is your source. He's, yeah. He is our source, not people. The second one is I'm not limited to a salary. The third one, turn mm -hmm. to your second page if you would, you please. You know, God is your source. That says a lot. That says if they say, well, you know, hard times are coming. Mm -hmm. uh, money's going to be tight. Mm -hmm. Brace yourself. God's not out of money. No, he's not. Our source no, he's is not. not drying up. Mm -mm. Maybe mm -mm. the natural things might dry up, but not God. He's our no, source. No, not at all. He is our source. Praise God. The third thing that I had to settle was this. It is God's will for me to live debt free. It's yes, God's will for me to live debt free. And, uh, you know, I, I looked at the scriptures here, the first scripture in number one, thou shalt lend unto many nations, thou shalt not borrow. It's the will of God for me to debt free. Mm -hmm. That's a command. That sounds like a command to me. That's a blessing command. Mm -hmm. It's a blessing command that gets us positioned for debt freedom. And that's what I wrote down here. That sounds like more like a command than a suggestion. Yeah. That is God saying, thou shalt not borrow. And then we read... Romans 13, 8 in the Amplified, keep out of debt, owe no man anything except to love one another. I like this in Matthew 6, 12, forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. So that's what Jesus said. And debt is something that is owed or legally due, money that is owed. So forgive us our debts. Now we have to know, and this is important, that it is the will of God. Yeah. 
in the same way that Gloria, I remember being here listening to the tapes back then and coming to the conclusion that it was God's will for me to live in, in health. Yes. And I read your book, God's Will for You. I read your book, God's Will is Healing. I read Jesus Heal Them All. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, I've, I have all the you original ones. I've got them in my library. They're, there's something about reading the original ones that yeah. there's, there's just something yeah. there. But I learned when I first came here, I'm, I don't have to be sick anymore. It's not God's will. Well, I also learned that it was God's will for me to be debt free. Yes, that's he the wants us to be debt free. And great. Both are under the curse. They are. They are. Sickness is under the curse. Yep. Owing people for what you yep. get is under the curse. It's under the curse. We've been redeemed from what? We've the been curse. redeemed from the curse of the law. So yeah. we, we are free from debt. But the confidence, and this is what I'm talking about. When you come to the place where you know it's God's will, there is great confidence there. Yes. There's great, there oh, is no yeah, question. It's called faith. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, <laughs> faith. And I'll read this to you. It's in our notes here on, under number five. Um, I read this, I heard this from Brother Copeland. I thought, wow, he really came up with something. Then I heard it from Brother Hagen, And I thought, oh, well, Brother Hagen said it. Well, then I read it from F.F. F. Bosworth. <laughs> and he said, faith, oh. faith begins where the will of God is known. So when you know that it's God's will for you to be debt free, there's great confidence. Right. I know it. Yeah, there's no question whatsoever. Right. But on the other hand, faith stops and it wavers and it hesitates and it's double-minded at the question mark. Faith stops at the question mark. That's right. Whenever you wonder, oh, I wonder if it's God's will for me to be debt free. No, you have to settle that today. Yeah. It is God's will for you to be debt free. God is your source and not people. And you're not limited to a salary. These are all things, Gloria, I had to settle. I had to settle it with him. It is unquestionably the will of God for us to be debt free. If it's his will, he will supply. That's right. It belongs to us. So Lord, we thank you for this today. Yes. And first of all, we make the commitment, God is our source That's and not right. people. The God is our source. The word is our source. And Lord, we are not limited to our salary. We thank you for salary. We thank you for that income, but we are not limited to it. To it. There is more supply that you have available to us. And Lord, Amen. I pray for thank the people you, right now that they have revelation that it is the will of God for them to be debt free. Thank you, Lord. We receive these today and we settle them now in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. and Praise amen. God. Amen. Amen, Lord. Lord. Gloria. Way to go. Stay out of debt. And I like this. I'll give you the last quote that I put down here. This is something that I've heard you say. What is the solution to being plastic dependent or to credit cards? Plastic surgery. Just cut up the cards. So that's, uh, that's <laughs> another works. gloriousm. That'll work. <laughs> You're going to like what Pastor George is going to share with us today. It's entitled Done With Debt. Done With Debt. And it's all Bible. Mm -hmm. It's all scripture. Mm -hmm. We don't have mm -hmm. to be in debt. We don't have to receive by debt. We can receive by faith. That's right. That's Glory exactly right. You know, we taught this, uh, a series like this about four years ago, and the Lord ministered to me and said, we need to do a refresher yeah. uh, for those that had heard it, yeah. but need to hear it again. And those who have never heard it, Gloria, can you imagine there are people watching oh, us yeah. right now that have never entertained the thought of living debt free? That's true. That's huge. That is huge. They need to know. And, they can uh, do it. It was four years ago that you told me to write that book, Done With Debt, which I have compiled. I have gotten as far as chapter compilations, and that's as far as I got. So I promise you, we it's will get that. Be good. We will get that done. Done With Debt book completed. But I know that there are so many people, they are done with debt. They're fed up. They're fed up with having oh, to pay I remember what it was like. over and over and over again for a house. Yes. The, co the, cost of, the cost of money is ridiculous as well as... What do you do pay for a house about what? Three times? Four times? Yeah, I mean... the time you get it paid for? We were, well, we talked about paying for this building out here, a 30-year loan. It would have been three times. We would have paid for it three times. If we had to pay interest. If we had to pay interest yeah. on it, which we didn't. Thank and God. we didn't borrow the money for it. Uh, it took a little bit longer. We stopped a few times, but hey... It's been paid for a long time. It's been paid for time. a long, long time. <laughs> I want to talk about something here today, Gloria, that's very, very important. 
in the life of faith, and it's very important where making this quality decision to live debt-free is concerned. Brother Copeland taught me years ago about the quality decision and what that is. Mm -hmm. And the fact that it's, it's a decision where you settle the issue once and for all. Let me just say, where you, there's no way out. There's no way out, that's good. <laughs> that's it right there, there's no way out. You know, even, even to this day, I said this to Terry the other day, we were talking about some things, and I, I said, you know what? You and I made a quality decision that we would never borrow the money. Yeah. She said, that's right, that's right. And it never, that decision is so rooted in us, mm -hmm. that option never shows up. Yes, that's there right. is there is no option quality whatsoever. Decision. It's a quality decision, and well, I'll just read you a couple of them here in number okay. two on, on A two. This is what I've learned from Brother Copeland through the years, and all of these notes are available to you right now. KCM.org. Click on the picture of glory in me, and it'll take you right over to the notes. But uh, a quality decision decision settles the issue once and for all. Mm -hmm. A quality decision is a decision with which there is no retreat, no turning back, no return. A quality decision is a decision where argument and debate no longer exist. That's right. A quality decision becomes a memorial to look back on at when you are challenged to compromise your stand. And a quality decision opens the door to the reality of what you are desiring and what you are believing for. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm gonna get to this number four. I'm gonna save this one for just a moment. Don't read that yet. Okay, because you, like you, you actually said it. But um, in debt freedom, one of the things that Brother Copeland said to me, and it liberated me, when we were, when we were in debt, he said, George, the moment you make the decision to live debt free, God sees you debt free. Praise God. And I got to tell you, that just lifted the pressure from me. And I'm telling you right now, that phrase that Brother Copeland gave me, I'm giving that to you. The moment you make that quality decision where you don't retreat, you don't go back, you say, this is it, this is what we're going to do. The moment you make that decision to be debt free, God sees you yeah. debt free. What would keep you from making that decision, George. Let me just suggest to you okay. that what would keep you from doing that is fear. Fear, that's lack. good. Oh, fear of lack. So, fear what, of lack. so what are you yeah. saying about your confidence in the Father to be your source? That's good, that's really good. Not much, you're not trusting your source. You're not trusting in and your really, source. And really, yeah. we're what can't, you can't be trusted. You're the, you and me, we're the ones that yeah. can't be trusted. Yeah. God yeah. can be trusted. Yeah. So if we'll put our faith in Him, He'll see it through. Now you and I might not have the power or the insight on how yeah. to make it work. Yeah. But when we go to God, He's got a, no, a way to do everything He, he promises does. to do. He does. And what He's looking for in us is our faith. Yeah. We have to give him a place mm -hmm. to work. You know, I'm thinking about... The workplace the, is faith. The workplace is faith. What he has so blessed us with, with his grace, mm -hmm. we take it with our faith. That's right. I'm thinking about the woman with the issue of blood and what happened to her and how she spent all that she had. She didn't get better. She Not was better. really, based on the law, she, she was ostracized. She was set apart from everyone, from humanity. She wasn't allowed. Twelve years this was going on. And when she was healed, Jesus said, your faith, your faith has made you whole. Yes. And the word whole there mm -hmm. is complete. She sp not only was she healed, That's right. not only was she emotionally restored, but every debt was gone. Everything that she had spent, she'd lost her whole living. It was restored. I wouldn't be surprised if Jesus had called Judas over with the bag and said, we're going to restore this right now. I mean, how many times have we seen Kenneth do this? Yeah. How many times have we seen Brother Copeland pay for something or lift that burden? I believe Jesus did it that way. He made her whole again. And debt freedom is a part of your wholeness. Right. And it takes a quality decision. And that's what Terry and I had to do. That's what Kenneth and Gloria had to do, to make that quality decision of no retreat that we are getting out of debt and we are going Staying to stay out, out of, debt. of debt. Amen. And I like what you said here on number four, 
This is what you said when we taught this four years ago. You are only one decision away from your debt freedom. That's good. That's right. That's what is good. that decision? I'm not borrowing any more mm -hmm. money. I'm not borrowing any more money. I'm staying, I'm staying out of the I'm bank. getting out of debt yeah. and I'm not yeah. borrowing again. And the decision, the decision that you make to be debt free, it activates your faith. Yeah. It really, you start thinking, it changes everything. It changes the way you think. It changes the way you perceive things. All of a sudden, you're, you find yourself in the atmosphere of faith. Yes. And you're believing right. I God. I like the way you said that. This atmosphere of faith atmosphere comes up of faith. and there's a momentum that happens. Mm -hmm. That's what Terry and I had to do. Terry and I, after Brother Copeland shared that with me, I went home that day from the office and I sat down with her and I said, Terry, your dad said this to me that the moment you make the decision, the quality decision to be debt free, God sees you debt free. So we did that. We made that commitment. We made that dedication to live debt free. And I mean, the ball started rolling. Things started happening. Oh my goodness, it really does. It, it just began the process in our life of seeing debt freedom come to pass. It is not impossible. This is not, nothing is impossible That's with right. God. And it's not impossible for you if you will make that quality decision. Now, Kenneth and Gloria Copeland made a series of seven quality decisions in 1967. Mm -hmm. See, I'm a historian. You and, are, <laughs> and, and I've, I, I wrote these down here and you're, they're in your notes. Yeah, but listen, listen to the quality decision they made. Never ask anybody for a place to preach. Don't ever ask anyone for money. Never preach for anyone based on a financial arrangement. If faith won't get it, we won't have it. Whatever we see in your word and we understand what you're telling us in your word, we will adopt that to our own lifestyle immediately, whether we like right. it or not, because your word is final Amen. authority. Our children are not going to hell. Amen. And finally, don't borrow money. You made that decision. You will not borrow money. You made we a didn't. quality decision not to borrow money. We cannot be, we cannot waver on this. We, we can't, you can't be in and out about this thing. When it comes to debt freedom, it's an aggressive force. Mm -hmm. And to break that and stronghold. It's a step of faith. It is, and to break the stronghold. You're, you're, you're releasing your faith in the banker, the credit cards. Mm -hmm. And you're putting your faith in God to supply your needs. It's a shift. That's a big, a big yeah. shift. Yeah. But it works. You're shifting your source. Yeah, that's right. And that quality decision that we make to be debt free the, the scripture verse for that is James chapter one and verse five. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that gives to all men liberally and, and upbraideth not, and it will be given him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. Nothing for he that waves is like the wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. Let not that man think he will receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. So the, the bottom line to this is we cannot be double-minded no. about this. You faith's have, not double-minded. It's not double-minded. It's either faith mm -mm. or it's unbelief. That's right. And you can't think one day, well, we'll, we'll decide to be debt-free and the next day start talking about going to the bank and borrowing the money. That's being double-minded. That's right. If you're going to get on this, Mm -hmm. You've got to go on it full force. It has to be total and complete dedication to what the Word of God says, and you cannot waver. You cannot get out of it or get, get you cannot uh, allow yourself to be moved away from it. And Gloria, we have, I mean, we have some testimonies to show uh, later on in the broad, broadcast that we're doing of people who have experienced debt freedom in their lives. And they made that decision. They made the quality decision to let free and they just, to, to be debt free and they just wouldn't let go of it. So if you look at page two here, Gloria, this is what we're going to do. And this, it brings us to this Friday broadcast because this to me, this is a major starting point for living debt free. It's, it's for anything, Gloria, it's for healing. It's for the healing of the physical body. We have to make a decision. We have to make a quality decision based on the Word of God. I am the healed. I take my healing in Jesus' name. I take hold of it. Well, it's the same thing with debt. That's right. 
right. You have to be forceful about it. You know, when it talks about, and you've taught us this before, about believe that you receive, that word receive is to take with much force, to seize with a grip that cannot be shaken off. It's, it's bulldog faith. Bulldog. It's a bulldog faith that bites down on the word and you have to bite down on the word of your debt freedom and don't let go of it. Terry don't, and I... Don't, be, don't deviate. Yeah, to don't deviate right from it. Mm -mm. You just no. keep going straight ahead. No, you don't, you don't deviate from this. And so I believe what the Lord wants us to do here is to make the quality decision to be debt free. And, and I want to say this to the crew that's in here, all of those that are in the studio with us today. Let's do this for real. I mean, this okay, is for yeah, real. Yeah. And, and I'm going to lead us in that. I'm going to lead you in this. Commitment. Mm -hmm. It's a okay. commitment. It's yeah. a dedication. And your, your debt freedom, it begins right now. It starts right now. What Brother Copeland said to me is true for you. That the moment, the moment in time that you make the quality decision to be debt free, God sees you debt free. And you don't have to do this. You can just sit there and ignore everything <laughs> we're doing. But if you no. want to be debt free, this is the way you start it. So I want us to do this together and I want you okay. to repeat this after me and those in the in studio, faith, we're on camera, it. wherever. We're going to take it. We're going to take this today. you believe, you take it. Okay. And this, Gloria, this is exactly what Terry and I did. And I don't know exactly what you and but Kenneth did, did, but I'm sure it's thing. pretty close to this. Yeah. So are you ready? Yes. Are you yes, ready for your debt ready. freedom? It begins right here and right now. If you want it, you don't have to do it. But That's if right. if you want it, here it goes. All right. Say this after me. By faith in Jesus' name. By faith in Jesus' name. We make the quality decision. We make the quality decision. Right now. Right now. To live debt free. To live debt free. Say, I am getting out of debt. I am getting out of debt. I am staying out of debt. I'm staying out of debt. And I will live in God's abundant overflow. And I will live, live in, in God's, God's abundant, abundant overflow. overflow. As of this moment in time. As of this moment in time. Now you need to write it on your calendar. You need to write the date and the time because this, this is when it begins. At this moment in time. At this moment in time. I declare. I declare. I am debt free. I am debt free. I am debt free in Jesus' name. I am debt free in Jesus' name. My days of debt. My days of debt are over are forever. Over forever. I am done with debt. I am done with debt. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name, The word of God says. The word of God says. In Romans 13:8. In Romans 13:8. Keep out of debt. Keep out of debt. I stand on that word. I stand on that word. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Now something significant just happened in the realm of the Praise spirit right God. now. Thank something you, Lord. big is taking place. And in this, this scripture, I'll look at it really quick. How much time do we have there? Four minutes, I believe. Four minutes. In Hebrews, in Hebrews chapter one, it says in verse three, um, I'll start with verse two. Jesus, <laughs> verse one, God, who at sundry times and in divers manners spoke in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, has in these last days spoken to us by his son who has, appoint, who has been appointed heir of all things. If I can just camp on that for just a moment, he is the heir of all things. If we are joint heirs with Jesus, mm -hmm. heirs of God, and Jesus is heir of all things, that must mean that we are heir of all things as well. So that goes to our debt freedom. Amen. By whom, he, by whom also he made all the worlds, who being the brightness of his glory and the ex express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his yes. power. All things by the word of his power. All of heaven backs your decision right now because it's based in the word of God. Yes, amen. God upholds, or what is he doing? He's backing all things, the quality decision you just made by the power of his word. Because you've aligned yourself to the word, all of heaven's reserves are available to you. I heard Brother Copeland prophesy that one time that all of heaven's reserves are available to us. So when we line up with the word, then all that heaven has for us, we've opened ourselves to it. We've gotten in the will of God. Yeah, we're in, we're in, we're in it. We're in the will of God. And what we have to do is we have to, I like this, set your face like flint. 
according to Isaiah 50, 7 through 9, and the Lord will help you get out of debt. So we set our, we set our face we don't turn to the right or the left. No, we don't do it. We don't do it. And the scripture that just popped up in me here is from Proverbs in chapter four. This, you really have to get focused. I would say, Gloria, that you have to get, in this kind of a lifestyle, you have to be focused about everything. Oh yeah. Everything everything in the this Word. This is not for wimps. It is not. <laughs> no, because, because the devil will try, try to steal the Word from you. And the stronger we become... Why would he be so interested? Because as long as you're in debt with somebody, mm -hmm. he's got a place. Oh, Gloria. But when you cut oh, that Gloria. debt off, mm -mm -mm. you shut the door on him yeah. in that area. That's right. That's right. And the good thing about this quality decision is like Kenneth said, the moment you make that decision, God sees you debt free. So what's yeah. happening here is in that decision, you are starting to separate from that That's covenant. Right. That's that, right. that has begun. That's right. That has started. See yourself debt free. See yourself completely debt free. And that's what happened to us. It started a, 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 motion, a motion of events, uh, uh, events that took place in our life that once we made the decision, I mean, faith kicked in. And if you didn't, and if you're still uh, borrowing money, charging and doing things, you didn't make a quality. No, you have to, make, yeah, you have to quit doing that. So, yeah. So yeah. you got to make that quality Absolutely. decision. Shut that door. Absolutely. And what you said before about focusing, this is from Proverbs 4, verse 25. Let, let your eyes look right on and your eyelids look straight before you. Amplified Bible says with fixed purpose. Ponder the path yeah, of your feet yeah. mm -hmm. and let all of your ways get established. Listen to this. In this scripture, this is Proverbs 4.26. In the New Living, it says, don't get sidetracked. That's good. In the, the, the NIV translation, do not swerve. You could add, don't compromise. Don't compromise it. Turn not to the right hand or to the left. From where? The word, the decision. Remove your foot from evil. So we have to stay focused on this. But I'm telling you today, if you've made that quality decision, you are on your way That's to right. complete and total debt freedom. Hallelujah. And now, Gloria and I will be right back. You stay with us. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Amen. Imagine not having to take out a loan for a new car, attending college without student loans, or actually paying cash for your home. Even better, imagine being the one to help someone else through their time of need. These things and more are entirely possible through the power of God and your decision. Make the decision today to be done with debt. Use these resources by Gloria Copeland and Pastor George Pearsons, two experts on debt freedom, to provide the knowledge you need to see your decision become a reality. This package includes audio or video sessions of 21 Days to Your Debt Freedom, along with the corresponding study notes and 10 messages on MP3 disc titled, It's Time to Get Out of Debt by Kenneth Copeland and Pastor George. Put being done with debt at the top of your to-do list and allow the power of God coupled with your decision to propel you to freedom. It is in that place of freedom where you will experience true joy. Decide today that you are done with debt. Request your free Done With Debt package by calling 800-600-7395 or visit our website at kcm.org slash TV special. Use this word-based teaching to help you set a new course for life and live debt-free. God is your ultimate source of supply. Stop relying on the world's system of resources and make the decision to be done with debt today. Offer good for 60 days. You know, you hear about all the wonderful things that the Lord has done with Kenneth and Gloria Copeland, with Terry and myself, but it all began with one decision in our lives, and that was to make Jesus the That's Lord right. of our lives. You remember the day, Gloria, oh, you, were, you were in Tulsa? Or Tulsa, where was it? You were, you were somewhere, but it was a little house all, nonetheless, and yeah. you, were, yeah. you made that decision to ask Jesus to come into your heart, and what a life. Well, you I had no had idea how then. to do that before or I'd have wow. done it, you know. I didn't wow. know about that. I never heard that. 
It just, right. it changes everything. It and does. It will, it will change your life. And I'll tell you what, Gloria and I, if you've never made Jesus the Lord of your life, yes. today is your day. Praise All you have God. to do is repeat this after me. This is so simple. He wants to come into your heart. Oh, yeah. He wants to live in you. So put your hand over your heart and say this after me. Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. I thank you for your love. I thank you for your love. Jesus. Jesus, I ask that you come into my heart right now. I ask that you come into my heart right Fill now. Fill my life with your life. Fill my life with your life. Do something magnificent with my life. Do something magnificent with my life. And thank you for everything that is going to take place. And thank you for everything that is going to take place. I declare today. I declare today. That Jesus is my Lord. That Jesus is my Lord. Forever. Forever. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Well, this Amen. is the beginning. Hallelujah. This is the start for so many people. And if you just oh, did that. Oh, it changes everything if you'll continue to walk on with Continue him. in yeah. the Word of God. And that's why we have this book that we want to make available. He did it all for you. And it'll talk about what happened just now, what's taking it's place in your life. It's the greatest thing that can happen to It's a magnificent, being, Gloria. To be born over again. Yeah. In the, in the image of God. It is. Oh, it is. Praise and it's, God. it's all part of your debt freedom, all part of your prosperity. Yeah. So we have the book. We have some brochures that you want to see. Just request yours on kcm.org. And listen, send us your testimony. We want to hear about the good things that God is doing in your life and how he's changing your life and what is happening to you, the healing that you're receiving, the prosperity that is taking place. And we want you to just, just send that to us so that we can rejoice with you. We want to hear yes. what God is doing in your life. My name is Joyce McGill, and I'm from Fordland, Missouri. I've been coming to the Branson Victory Campaign for about six years and, uh, and have loved every minute of it and, uh, and have bought the tapes and the CDs to take home with me because it's always good, even the second time around. I first saw that the book from, from Kenneth on The Believer's Voice of Victory and uh, was intrigued by it because of my growing up in church and that you know prosperity wasn't anything that was even mentioned or spoke about or even thought that that would be anything that we could do, you know. And so he offered it as a free gift. And so I took advantage of that. And that was what really got me thinking, you know, it does say in the Word that that, that is a part of the blessing and we have the right to have that. We decided that we wanted to be debt free uh, after reading this and, and listening to, uh, well, on the Believer's Voice of Victory to, to George Pearson and to Gloria on there. and I ordered the CDs and I, I took, I copied the notes and I downloaded the notes and printed them out. And, uh, and there was this wonderful little petition in there that, you know, and it says in the Bible that we can petition God for what we, what we want. And so I, I just figured if they could do it, why couldn't I do that? I wrote the petition and attached a copy of our mortgage papers to that and decided that you know, it would take God to fix this. Once I did the petition and then I, I put it up there on the wall, every time I'd go by it, I would, I would notice it and I would just put my hand on it, you know, and I would just say, thank you God that this mortgage is paid in full. Thank you that we are debt free so that we can be a blessing to others. And every day, every day, I would thank God that this mortgage is paid in full and we are debt free. Once I wrote the petition and put it up there, it took a, about a year and a half, almost two years, but uh, I didn't, uh, I didn't feel discouraged because, uh, you know, I tried to have a little patience, <laughs> easier sometimes than others, but, um, but it took a year and a half to two years to get that, for that to come about. Two years was nothing compared to what we were looking at, you know, especially at our time of life. It was, uh, it was pretty amazing. Once we decided that we were not going to borrow any more money ever, regardless of what it took, God was gonna take care of us or we would do without. The transmission went out on our truck and that was like $4,500 that we did not have. And so I just prayed about it. I thought, okay, you have, we have to sow a seed. And I was led to, to I needed to make a car payment for a couple at our where we went to church. Uh, within a week and a half of that probably, um, we had a horse trailer that we'd been trying to sell for quite some time. And this guy from Oklahoma actually happened to see it 
on our Craigslist posting, and it was exactly what he wanted. He bought it sight unseen, just bring it, and I'll pay this for it. We received a $500 check from a friend that just said, you know, God just said, just felt from God that we need we needed to bless you with this. From the from the check that we received from our friends as a as a gift and the sale of the horse trailer, after we had tithed on both of those items, there was enough left for that to pay off the truck, the transmission for the truck with a little bit left over. So we were we were in pretty good shape, feeling pretty good about that. Ron had a cousin that had been in the uh, in a nursing home for over 10 years, and uh, she passed away. When she passed and, uh, and everything settled, there was money left. And so we wound up with an inheritance that was uh, enough to pay our mortgage in full. So it was just such a blessing, you know, and I equate that back to the $300 seed sown. Because in reality, with her being in the nursing home that long and everything, there should not have been any money left there. Being debt free is beyond my wildest dreams could have been, you know, to be totally debt free and to be able to tell my children that you don't have to worry about me anymore. We were so blessed by Joyce's testimony and just all of the different things she did. You know, you could take that testimony and just really start dissecting it. She did it, it. right. She did it right. I mean, she, she was listening to the Word. She uh, saw the book that Brother Copeland had about the blessing and then she started ordering the materials that we had on Debt yeah. Freedom and she studied it every day. That's the way you do it. Every day. Faith came. Oh, that's the way it happens is every day. That's how yeah. you build your faith to that's it. Right. And that within two years, she was completely debt free. And the money originally that she sowed, she had a relative that had passed away and the inheritance came to them and it completely wiped out all debt. Praise God. Now that's, that is a, God is their source yeah. and that's what he did for them. And that was just, I see that happening. I see it happening with you. I'll tell you something, Gloria, we have the most wonderful partners, the most oh, giving yeah. partners, faithful, faithful partners, and we thank you for all of your giving into Kenneth Copeland Ministries. And today, we want to set ourselves in agreement with you yes. for everything that you need. Everything that needs to come into your household. If you need to be debt free, we are, in, we are agreeing with you right now in the name healed. of Jesus. Yeah, healing, whatever it is, whatever is needed in your household, you take this right now. And I'll read you this scripture from the 115th Psalm and the 14th verse. This is the Lord. Lord, just put this in my heart for them. The Lord will increase you more and, and more, you and your, your children. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray over our partners right now, yes, all those are, that are giving, thank that are you, taking Lord. part in this offering today. And I thank you, Lord, we for them. We say you're blessed. Yes, you Jesus are blessed name. in Jesus' name. Blessed. And you are walking in the manifested blessing of God. You're increasing more and more. Yes. The double, yes. the double is on you. It's Glory on you. It's in God. you. Thank and the you. spirit of increase is all over you right now. Praise you are increasing in every realm. And Father, we thank you for their debt freedom. We thank yes. you for ministering your Our life. Healing. Yeah, healing, healing, healing yes. in Jesus' name. Down, From Jesus the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, Thank we you, proclaim Lord. and declare the healing power of God Praise over you God. in we Jesus' name. Yeah, we take it. Hallelujah. We take it Praise in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Glory oh, my God. goodness. I just Hallelujah. sense the power of God that's taking place out Praise there. Praise God. What a time we've had this week, Glory. Know, this has George, been fun. Been great. This Thank has been so fun. Much. We get to do it again. Next week, okay. we're going to talk more about debt freedom. That's so important. It's very important. It is very important. So, hey, join us again on Monday, day six, and we're going to talk to you about how Kenneth and Gloria Copeland became debt free. This is Gloria Copeland and Pastor George reminding you that Jesus, Jesus is, is Lord. Lord. You can watch this Believer's Voice of Victory broadcast again at kcm.org. Remember to download your free copy of the study notes at kcm.org notes.